Speaker, sir, we strive to ensure that foreign policy is a subject of maximum consensus in the country. Certainly, that should be the case with a subject as important as Ukraine. And I was glad to see yesterday that was the case. I was also very pleased that four ministers spoke on this matter because these ministers went to the neighboring countries, they participated in the evacuation operations, and they brought a ground perspective, which was very important for the House to listen to. Honorable members would all agree that India's approach should be guided by our national beliefs and values, by our national interest, and by a national strategy. Let me dwell on each of these aspects before addressing some of the specific issues that were brought up by honorable members yesterday. What is India advocating in Ukraine? We are, first and foremost, strongly against the conflict. We believe that no solution can be arrived at by shedding blood and at the cost of innocent lives. In this day and age, Dialogue and diplomacy are the right answers to any disputes. And this should bear in mind that the contemporary global order has been built on the UN Charter, on respect for international law, and for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states. If India has chosen a side, it is a side of peace. And it is for an immediate end to violence. This is our principal stand, and it has consistently guided our position in international forums and debates, including in the United Nations. Sir, many honorable members brought up the incident, the happenings uh, in Burcha, and I want to say that we are deeply disturbed by the reports. Uh, we strongly condemn the killings which have taken place there. This is an extremely serious matter, and we support the call for an independent investigation. <laughs>